Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. Uh, our research topic today is pomegranate juice and cancer prevention, especially prostate cancer. So I'm going to show you uh, a research paper from the International Journal of Molecular Sciences in 2014. Uh, it looks like this, and uh, it's a sensational review of the studies that have used uh, pomegranate juice and pomegranate extract to see what cancer preventative effects these constituents have. Now I'm not a big fan of drinking fruit juices or even vegetable juices that are really sweet like carrot juice. You know it's much better to eat the fruit than to drink the juice. As pure fruit juice is a concentrated source of simple carbohydrates that will spike your blood sugar and often contribute to weight gain. The same is true for carrot juice and vegetable juices that are sweet tasting. The one exception to the rule is pure pomegranate juice. This is the one juice that's been shown in clinical studies with human subjects to slow and, e and even reverse to some degree the progression of prostate cancer, which is the second leading cause of cancer death in men. Now preclinical studies suggest that pomegranate juice may also help to defend against breast cancer and some other cancers. So the recommended four ounces of daily serving has 19 grams of simple carbohydrates, or about 76 calories, just a little bit more than if you ate a, an orange. If you had a whole orange, it's about 60 to 70 calories. So it's not highly damaging to drink four ounces of pomegranate juice a day. Now with respect to cancer prevention, the authors of the 2014 review article stated the following. Recent research has shown that pomegranate juice and or pomegranate extracts significantly inhibit the growth of prostate cancer cells in culture. In preclinical murine models, that means studies with mice, pomegranate juice and extract inhibit growth and angiogenesis. Angiogenesis means when tumor cells try to form new blood vessels to feed themselves, so it inhibits that process uh, of prostate tumors. So it inhibits that process of growth and new blood vessel formation to new prostate uh, cancer tumors. More recently, We've shown that three components of pomegranate juice, luteolin, elagic acid, and, and punitic acid, together have similar inhibitory effects on prostate cancer growth, angiogenesis, and metastasis. Now results from clinical trials in human prostate cancer subjects are also promising. Pomegranate juice and pomegranate extract significantly prolong the PSA doubling time or the prostate specific antigen doubling time in men with prostate cancer, uh, which is a very significant impact uh, uh, in terms of its as a biomarker for disease progression. What does all of this mean? Well, what it means is that the, the constituents of pomegranate juice have been shown to suppress the growth of the various human prostate cancer cells used in standard prostate cancer experimental studies. And, prostate, and uh, pomegranate juice and extract also encourage prostate cancer cells to commit suicide, something known as apoptosis or programmed cell death. This occurs in experimental studies with prostate cancer cells that are typically used in lab studies to see if chemo drugs can kill cancer cells. Pomegranate juice and pomegranate extract also have been shown to decrease the synthesis of hormones known to promote the proliferation of prostate cancer cells namely inhibiting the hormones uh, dihydrotestosterone, which is known to promote prostate cancer growth, as well as other androgen hormones that are linked to prostate cancer and its progression. And pro uh, pomegranate juice and extract also inhibit the synthesis of prostaglandin hormones known to promote prostate cancer proliferation, metastasis, and invasion of nearby tissue. So in this regard, they inhibit the two key enzymes used by cancer cells to promote their progression and metastasis. These enzymes are phospholipase A2 and cyclooxygenase. So pomegranate juice inhibits the action of these enzymes that tend to promote cancer and, and, and the spread of cancer. And pomegranate juice and extract also inhibit what's known as the matrix metalloprotein uh, ases which allow cancer cells to invade adjacent tissue. So for instance, prostate cancer often spreads directly to the bladder, sort of a neighboring tissue. And it does this by secreting these, uh, what are called uh, matrix metalloproteinases, which sort of drill holes through the neighboring tissue so it can invade the bladder. And pomegranate juice and extract have been shown to inhibit those enzymes so that invasion can't take place so easily. 
and pomegranate juice and extract have also been shown to inhibit the metastatic process by which prostate cancer cells typically spread to bone, liver, and lung tissue. So when prostate cancer metastasizes, it's often going to the liver and to bone and sometimes to the lung. Now in experimental studies, the elagic acid and some other components of pomegranate juice uh, have been shown to also have anti-cancer effects on other cancers including lung cancer, cervical cancer, and, fem and breast cancer. Now the studies uh, showing its inhibition of estrogen receptor positive breast cancer are very impressive. They're only experimental at this point, but the studies are, are very impressive when you read them. So to date there have been two human clinical trials using eight ounces a day of pomegranate juice to treat men who have advanced prostate cancer who have been unresponsive to conventional medical treatment. So both the 2006 and the 2013 clinical studies yielded very impressive results showing that a dramatic slowing of the PSA doubling time in men with androgen positive prostate cancer uh, in which in, in other prostate cancer types but in men that had the androgen receptor positive prostate cancer we also saw evidence that the pomegranate juice was, was encouraging prostate cancer cells to commit suicide program cell death apoptosis as we call it. Now even more recently a study in 2014 it used a supplement containing an, an extract blend of pomegranate with green tea, with broccoli extract, and curcumin from the spice turmeric, sort of all in one capsule, given to men that had prostate cancer. Now compared to the men that got the placebo, the men taking the oral supplement blend showed a, signif a significant inhibition of prostate cancer progression. So the men taking the supplement saw only a 14.7% rise in their PSA level whereas the men who got the placebo saw a 78.5% rise in their PSA level, meaning that their cancer was progressing at a much faster rate. So with respect to other cancers, the researchers conclude this. Because many of the molecular mechanisms are shared by different types of cancers, and the fact that pomegranate constituents have been shown to be effective against breast cancer, lung cancer, colon cancer, and skin cancer in experimental studies, these studies further uh, enhance sort of the therapeutic potential of pomegranate extract going forward. So in my view, the one juice that I suggest uh, my patients drink each day as part of their cancer prevention strategy is four ounces of pure pomegranate juice. Now I know that many juices are hyped for their outstanding health benefits, you know, things like noni juice and acai berry juice and guava juice, raspberry juice, different types of grape juice, and so on. But the actual research most strongly supports the use of pure pomegranate juice over all other choices. I'm a big fan, or as, or rather I'm not a big fan of drinking juices in general, but the one exception of course is pomegranate juice. So I've included a link to the research review paper below if you wish to examine the research in more detail for yourself. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.